So went to both Toronto shows at the Velvet, the November 21st and the 28th. I wasn't going to go on the 28th originally, but then I decided, um, yeah, I want to go. <laughs> I mean, I lived in Toronto, so it's no big deal, right? Um, just, just drive downtown. Um, so the, the first night I met Justin and Kim, Kimberly there. That was awesome. We had a great time. We were up in the front. Met Yvonne there. That's where I met another fan. You know, I mean, like I said, everywhere I go. Um, and then this lady was taking a picture of the marquee up on top, and and Justin's like, oh yeah, she's got the right idea. Let's go over and do that. So we're, we're like, okay. And as I walk closer to her, and I'm like, that's <laughs> Adam's mom. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, we started talking to her for a while. She was gonna like wait in the back of the line and stuff. And I was like, are you nuts? It's winter. It's cold out here. Get out. Get inside. Go inside, man. Mom's not going to wait in the line outside. No, sorry. Not on my watch. I don't care. It's not on my watch. So, uh, we secretly got the, uh, the doorman dude to get her in because, you know, she didn't want to, but we made sure she was taken care of. <laughs> Um, it was a lot of fun. Didn't have VIP for that, but that's okay. I don't have to have it for every show, you know. Actually, Adam's mom got, uh, I got a set list. Kevin was so sweet enough to get me a set list, um, from the stage. Or well, the set list, because there's only, only one man up there. Um, so I got the set list, and then, uh, Adam's mom, Patricia, brought it to him and got him to sign it for me. So I have a set, a signed set list, finally. I mean, I used to have nothing, <laughs> you know, and then all of a sudden everything is like in the last few years, I've gotten like everything, like pics, sticks, signed autographs, posters, laminates, <laughs> VIP, everything. I had fun with Kevin, of course, as always. Their lights always suck. I mean, I've got pictures of other bands that have played there. And, uh, I have to like click on them to see what they are because all the lights are the same. You know, it's either the really red and yellow lights or the bright ass fucking pink ones that really totally ruin everything. Um, so, but yeah, I love when he gets into the old songs. I mean, the old ones, like the first album. Which is what I fell in love with to begin with. Um, and uh, it's not a song that he plays ever, I don't think, because I've never heard it recently. But um, hearing him play Burn, which is the first song I ever heard, that made me fall in love with the band, like, within 30 seconds. Um, hearing that acoustic was just, wow, <laughs> awesome. It just brought back so many memories, because that's how they used to start their shows that, in that, on that tour. They used to start off with burn, and so uh, it was always that same sound, you know, when the lights went out and you, you heard that crackling sound, and yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
showman he's got that quick sense of humor that wit you know always such a gentleman up on stage um yeah he's just super talented like he can just play anything he wings it most of the time the set list i have is you know it's just a suggestion really um even in peterborough he said when he when he he was late but then you know uh, he didn't even have a set list. Like, he wrote it down five minutes before he went on. <laughs> you know, that's how he rolls. I just, I love hearing those old songs. Um, I love hearing the covers, too. Like, some of them are just really awesome. Um, but yeah, when he goes into, like, Wake Up and Get Out Alive and, uh, now or never, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, like he, he plays a lot of them from the first album, which is, you know, awesome because they, it's been so long since we've been able to hear those live, you know. So the second Toronto show was awesome. I got in somehow. Uh, <laughs> I was on the guest list. I was nice enough to be on the guest list. It was very. I was gonna buy my ticket, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't buy it online. It was I wasn't accepting my card, so I was just like, God damn it. Uh, so I was put on the guest list. That was really sweet. That was awesome. But thank you very much. Uh, very much appreciated, as always. 
And uh, yeah, I got side stage this time because I, I missed being in the front row because I was really late. Like I was just, you know. Uh, so I got to stand, stand beside the stage instead. <laughs> That was awesome too. I've never seen a so I've never seen a show from the side, like practically up on the stage. Um, but no, hey, that was cool. That was great. Uh, I was allowed to do that somehow. The guard didn't didn't ask me to move. <laughs> I guess Kevin must have said she's okay. <laughs> Such a nice guy. Yeah. Very cool shows. Two very different shows. I don't think one show was the same as any of the others. That's what's cool about it. Seeing the four shows in like 10 days, not one show was similar. And some shows he did some songs and didn't do them at the other ones and then did other ones. And like, I don't think he's prepared like with songs. Like he doesn't have a set list before he walks in there for sure. Cause he changed a lot of stuff around. I mean, a lot of the stuff that's on the, on the, on the um, set list, so he didn't even play. But he played other stuff. So it's just like, it's just like for show. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just to give out at the end of the night. <laughs> always, always love seeing Adam Solo. I mean, it's, you hear some of the old songs. You hear some songs I've never heard. You hear some of the good covers and stuff, great covers. I mean, that man can sing ABCs. You know what I mean? believe he doesn't have a clue what he's playing until he gets up on stage because the set list is never it's not consistent ever <laughs> and and all four nights were so different um yeah it's but hey man if he can pull it off why not he's got such a huge library to choose from oh my god the guy has played everything from everything to everything you know but he still has yet to do the one I always request. <laughs> I've been requesting it for six years. Five years. And, uh, <laughs> no, he still hasn't done it yet. And I've been wanting to hear him do Back in Black in his own way. I don't care how he plays it. Just do it. <laughs> Memories. I saw them three times that year. 2004. And then... You know, Lost in You, which is oh, another one which I haven't heard of in ages, and Get Out Alive, and my favorite, favorite, favorite one is uh, Wake Up, when he plays that, which is very rarely. Man, I lose it just a little. Place never too late. Um, I don't know. It's it's just it's such a great song. I mean, it's it's probably the most popular song. Three Days Grace had popularity wise, I guess. Um, yeah, it's as soon as it starts, you just get those goosebumps, you know. And um, when I was side stage. I heard the audience more than I think I heard him, you know? Um, that's why I keep panning back and forth to, now that I have a chance to actually film the audience, you know? Um, it, it's, it gives me goosebumps. Seeing all those people sing the lyrics 
just gives me goosebumps every single time. I just love the reaction. So feel free to grab some merch if you want to. Uh, this is the last night, and I'd rather not take what I have left home. So I just. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 